Slender Man the movie sees release this month, and as always, the man-made monster of mystery has a lot of hype surrounding it. Created in 2009, the Slender Man has gained a huge internet reputation over the last decade, and has went on to star in games, documentaries, and more. Throughout this video, I will be discussing the myth of the Slender Man in fiction, as well as the real-life murder trial that was attributed to the character. There will be some content here that young viewers may find disturbing, so please be advised. With that out the way, I'm Definition, and this is my Slender Man Explained video. The Slender Man originated as a creepypasta internet meme in 2009. Created by Something Awful forum user Victor Surge, the Slender Man is depicted as a black suit wearing, thin, and a naturally tall humanoid with a completely blank head and face. Often located in forests, the Slender Man is known for stalking, traumatizing, and abducting people, mainly children. Serge created the character when he contributed two black and white images to the forum that were made up of groups of children and the digitally added Slender Man composited over them. Serge supplemented his submission with snatches of text, supposedly from witnesses, describing the abductions of the group of children and giving the character the name The Slender Man. The quote under the first photograph read, We didn't want to go, we didn't want to kill them but its persistent silence and outstretched arms horrified and comforted us at the same time. The quote underneath the second photograph read, One of the two recovered photographs from the Stirling City Library blaze, notable for being taken the day which 14 children vanished and for what is referred to as the Slender Man. Deformities cited as filmed effects by the officials, fire at library occurred one week later. Actual photograph confiscated as evidence. Serge attributed the character's creation to inspiration from H.P. Lovecraft, Stephen King, the tall man from the film Phantasm, and more. Serge's intention was to formulate something whose motivations can barely be comprehended and which caused unease and terror in general populations. The Slender Man quickly became an internet phenomenon and went viral. This rise in popularity spawned numerous works of fan fiction, cosplays, online art, and more. However, the character got his first real big break in 2013 with the arrival of the game Slender the Eight Pages. Slender the Eight Pages is set in a dense forest during the middle of the night. The player's objective is to collect all eight pages located in various areas of the forest while avoiding the Slender Man. As the player collects pages, the fog in the forest grows thicker and Slender Man appears closer to the player's location though the character's sprinting speed slowly increases as well. Slender Man moves by teleporting, creeping around the player, but only from certain distances. If you gaze at the character too long, static begins to fill the screen, and death eventually follows. The game was given a full-fledged release in 2015 with Slender Man The Arrival, and it follows much of the same pattern as the aforementioned title, but with improved graphics, expanded areas, and a wider character roster. Slender Man Arrival received mixed reviews with many citing its scares, atmosphere and sound design as being standout in the genre. Whilst the character is mainly made up from media, there is also a far more controversial thing that has come from its creation. On May 31st, 2014 in Wisconsin, two 12-year-old girls lured their friend into the woods and stabbed her 19 times in an attempt to impress what they believed to be the Slender Man. The victim crawled to the road where she was found and after six days in hospital made a full recovery. There was a long and lengthy trial for the two attackers but they were eventually found not guilty because of reasons of insanity. By February 2018, they were both convicted and sentenced to long periods in mental health institutions. During the trial, they both stated that they believed the Slender Man to be real and carried out the stabbing to prove their loyalty to him. Desperately hoping to become his proxies, they sought to show the world his existence and to prevent him from harming their families whilst taking them under his wing. They believed that the only way to do this would be to kill someone, after which they would become servants of the Slender Man and live in his mansion in Nicolette National Forest. In the aftermath of the stabbing, the creepypasta wiki was blocked throughout the school district. However, a statement from the creator of the Slender Man was posted to the Creepypasta wiki expressing condolences for all those involved. The site later held a fundraiser for the victim in order to showcase that the visitors to Creepypasta were not bad people just because they like scary stories. 
The incident has went on to spark debates on child internet access that rages on still to this day. And whilst we may never have an answer as to what the correct direction to take is, it's clear that the Slender Man has moved far beyond his original meme origins. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Slender Man. Are you going to see the film and what do you think will happen in it? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and subscribe to my channel. I create content like this weekly and there'll definitely be something on here that you love if you're a fan of film. Make sure you keep an eye out for my Slender Man the Movie Ending Explain video which is due to drop next week. And thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.